Hello beautiful people, welcome once again to our podcast. Let me read a scripture to you from Luke chapter 9 verse 16. I want us to focus on the living Bible, Luke 9 16. It says, Jesus took the five loaves and two fish and looked up into the sky and gave thanks. Then he broke off the pieces for his disciples to set before the crowd. We all know about the account of the five loaves of bread and the two fish multiplying. Jesus multiplying the five loaves of bread and the two fish. About 5,000 men were fed from five loaves and two fish. This is a tremendous miracle. But we often lose sight of the fact that something happened before the miracle of God. The Bible says that Jesus took the five loaves, took the fishes, looked up into the sky and said, Thank you, Lord. He gave thanks to God and then he set it before the people. What lesson do we pick up here? Until you learn to be thankful for the little you have, it will not be multiplied. I'll take it again. Until you become appreciative of the little that you have and give thanks to God, it will not be multiplied. Multiplication comes to people who are thankful. Anytime you become thankful, your tank is always full. You never run dry. God is interested in people who are thankful. You don't wait till you have plenty before you give thanks to God. You don't wait till your dream car, you receive your dream car before you praise God or you thank Him. If only you can thank God for the letter that you have, you multiply it. For all you know, God is waiting for you to become appreciative and thankful for you to multiply that seed that he has given you. Until you learn to say, thank you, Lord, God will not fulfill your time for you. Thank you, Lord, should become something on a daily basis that you do. Never get tired of saying thank you, Lord. Sometimes situations can be awkward. Sometimes things might be really bad. I've been there several times. But if only you can count your blessing, name them one after the other, even in the midst of your turbulence, you will always find something to be grateful for. There's always something to be grateful for, my brother and my sister. You have life, you have health, you have children, you have good people around you. Something good must be happening in your life of which reason you must give thanks to God for. Even if nothing extraordinary is happening to your life, thank God. Sometimes I just wake up and I say, thank you, Lord, I'm going places. The nations of the world are open to you. Sometimes your thankfulness must be seen in your It's manifested. Manifestation always comes after the breaking. He broke off the pieces. So before he actually gave the bread and the fishes to the disciples to set before on the crowd, there was a breaking. Jesus could have said, okay, so I have the five loaves. I have the two fishes. Just give it to the people. No. He gave that and then he broke it. After he broke it, he set it before the people in the multiplication came. Thank God for the little you have. Thank God for the one car you have and God will have another one. Thank God for the one child that you have and God will have. God will give you more. Thank God for the husband you have even though you don't, you don't have kids. Be thankful to God that you have husband. People are looking for husbands. You can get it. You have one. Thank God for that. You are a man. You don't have a job but you have a wife who is always happy around you. Thank God for it. If only you can be thankful for the little you have, God will multiply it for you. Then the second part, he says, then he broke off the pieces for his disciples to set before the crowd. He broke off the pieces. The pieces. Before the multiplication came, there was a breaking. There is always a breaking before multiplicity. There is blessing in the breaking. There is always a blessing in the breaking. I don't know what you are going through in life. Perhaps some things are not working for you. Perhaps you are at the lowest moment of your life. But I tell you, there is a blessing ahead of you. So long as your life is broken, you have a testimony ahead. That is why you don't have to give up. Tell the devil, I'm glad that I'm being broken because there is always a blessing after the breaking. That which refuses to be broken, refuses to be blessed. Anybody who refuses to be broken in life refuses to be blessed. Bible says that except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone. If the seed doesn't fall to the ground and die, it will abide alone. It will just be there. Just put a seed of, of, 
orange, put it on the on the on the on the floor and see if it will turn meat. Unless it falls to the ground where it is given the opportunity to die, they will abide the loop. But as it dies in the ground, it starts germinating, then it starts bearing fruit, some 60, some 100. It didn't just sprout up in a bit and grow. There had to be a time. I don't know which point you are in your life. I don't know what you are going through, but I want to encourage you. And there is a blessing in your future. Your life might be broken. You might have lost your job. There is a blessing in your future. You might have lost your business. You might, you might have lost some money. You might have lost some dear people that were close to you. There is a blessing in your future. So long as you remain attuned to the principles of God, so long as you don't give up, you keep praying, keep studying, keep fellowshipping, keep being a nice guy, a nice woman, God will come through for you. Your breaking is not a permanent situation. It is just a chapter of your life. It will just flip up soon. And soon, you will see your blessing following you. The most beautiful people that I've ever seen in my life, met in my life, are people who were once Listen to the stories of the great men and women around the world. At every point in time, you realize that there was something that broke off. Something must break for something to stand. If you don't break, you will not stand. If you don't break, you will not be blessed. And so when you are passing through turbulent times, when you are passing through difficult situations, don't give up because it is a breaking and there is a blessing that is coming up. Don't give up, my brother. Rise up from that fall. Don't stay there. The righteous fall it seven times and get up. Don't stay there in your fall. Get up. Chin up and start walking. Keep walking. What you are going through today is not there to kill you. God will not bring anything that will take away your life. If he has brought it, then you are able to stand. Having done all this, stand. I stand therefore. Stand up from your weakness and begin to walk. If only you can endure today, you will enjoy it more. If only you can endure the pain today, you will enjoy the gain tomorrow. If only you can endure the fall today, you will enjoy the rise tomorrow. May God help you and strengthen you. May God empower you and give you the grace to stand up on your feet again. That business is coming back to you. That job is coming back to you. The ministry that you have lost is coming back to you. Our God is a God of restoration. If it has been broken, it will result in a blessing. God bless you. God graciously empower you and lift you up from where you are to the next level. Share this video and bless another life. God bless you.